life for the Sanders family was in Wichita, Kansas, in a small home that Barry shared with his 10 brothers and sisters. I never felt that it was that cramped. You know, either I was in my room or I was outside playing. Certainly, he was a, a, a serious football fan, a passionate football fan, and a lot of my love uh, for the game uh, definitely comes from him. They got some linebackers probably in the NFL, probably can't outrun me. What about LeVon Kirkland of Pittsburgh? Oh, he's about 265. He could not run me. He couldn't get you? I, I doubt it. Willie would express his opinion, and you just learn to take it. Uh, of course, I got to know Mrs. Sanders, Shirley, and what a sweet lady. There I figured out where Barry got his grounding from was Shirley Sanders. At Wichita North High, the varsity coach, Bob Shepler, thought Barry was not tough enough to play running back. So he played Barry at cornerback. I'm not, I'm not talking about Coach Shepler at North High, but uh, he, he, did, he, didn't, he didn't play him right. He didn't think Barry would ever be a great running back. He wouldn't play Barry at running back. And he would just lose it. He would be like, you know, GD, you know, these crazy coaches. You should be. You, you need to be running back. You know they got they got these you know kids that can't run out of sight in a day. And you know he was going off on me, and I was just you know it's like what did I do? And what I remember about that year most is that I was really just concerned, not where I you know that I was playing out of position or anything like that. I was just concerned that I hadn't received any letters to go to college. And I was thinking, man, this is my junior year, and I haven't received I haven't received anything from anybody. You know what am I going to do? At the start of the summer, going into my senior year, you know, I go, go to my dad and was kind of explaining to him that, you know, I really need to concentrate on working out this summer and getting ready to try to earn a scholarship. And uh, he just looked at me like he always would, you know, no nonsense and said, well, hey, son, your working out is going to be working with me this summer. At that point, it was understood that, you know, when he needed me to work, that's, that's what I did. The only thing is, you know, the pay, the pay wasn't that great. <laughs> But, he, but, but um, in the end, it did pay off. Entering his senior year, Barry got a new coach and a new position. Sanders averaged over 10 yards a carry for the season. I had heard a, a comment from previous coaches that, yeah, he just wouldn't stick it up in there. That did not bother me. Uh, and his running style was fine with me, because guess what? Nobody could tackle him. You know, I was always at the game on Friday night. You know, I was that kid that was always here um, with my dad. Um, and so now, um, after so many things that happened, I'm the starting running back at North High School. And not only that, but I'm having a career year at running back. I, I cannot even explain it to you. And for me, just being on the field, playing the game, that was where I was at home. That's, that's, uh, that's you know, really all I wanted to do. Last game of season, we were winning, and we against Wichita East, and we knew we were going to make it to the playoffs. There was me and another kid that year that was pretty much battling it out um, for the city rushing title. Came off the field, and I called him over, and and I asked him, I said, Barry, uh, I can keep you in, and you can rack up some yards. We can try to get that title, or I can put the young kids in. What do you want to do? He said, Coach, let the young kids play. There wasn't a second of hesitation from that young man. Let the young kids play. At that point, because of all the great things that had happened for me, just um, was not that important. 